What is going on guys and welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team play review. This time I'm reviewing the probably the best silver that has been made in a long time, Mark Gonzalez. Now as you can see here, he is normally a left wing, however I am playing on 6 chem in left forward to see what he was like and he was absolutely fucking awesome. So look at some of his base stats and he's got 85 pace, 77 dribbling, 82 shot, 31 defending, 75 passing, 66 physical. He had 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and medium and low work rates. Now if you look at his in game stats here, there's some awesome stats. 85 long shots, 89 shot power, 85 sprints and 85 acceleration to name a few. And as you saw from that clip there, his free kicks aren't bad either. Now this card is absolutely unreal and it is the best silver card I've used and it's arguably one of the best cards I've used on this FIFA. You can, honestly, it's unreal. You can see there, what a goal. And this is on 6 chemistry and I'll explain why I've played him at left forward a bit Well, in this review. Going on to his main pros and his finishing, we'll start off with absolutely amazing. He has got 82 shot and his finishing is absolutely unreal, guys, honestly. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. You can power them, you can finesse them. This guy scores goals all the time or he will put it on target. I mean, his pace is also absolutely awesome. So as you saw, you can break away and get through one-on-one -on -one easy. And when you're through with this guy, you're going to score. I mean, look at that again. Great dribbling and a pretty good finish. Now, going on to again to his shooting, his long shots were absolutely amazing. And if you saw, I think it's the second clip, what a shot that is. You know, 30 yards out, just ping it with this guy, he'll score. I mean, power shots, unreal. Absolutely amazing shot power as well for a silver 89 shot power. He just scores every single time. It was fucking awesome to use. You know, again, his dribbling. Honestly, his dribbling felt like Messi. And maybe a bit of an exaggeration to some people. But he's one of those players like David Silva where he's got the ball. And you just couldn't shove him off it. That's down to his balance and his ball control. People are trying to nudge him off the ball. And I'm coming up against cold defenders as well. And because of his pace, balance and ball control, you mix them three in together, like I say, a lot of times. And it's really hard to push him off the ball. He could break away from people. And, you know, people just couldn't get him off the ball without fouling him. Obviously, there was an odd time if a defender was in a better position. They did get him off the ball. But he really was hard to push off the ball. And I really honestly enjoyed using this guy. He was worth every single penny I paid of him. Now, I haven't got many cons for this guy, but I have to say, play him up front. Don't play him on left mid, don't play him left wing, don't play him left forward. He's wasted. Six chemistry up front or seven if you can get him there. It's absolutely, he's, he's amazing, honestly. I really would play him there. He's got all the right stats for a striker. He's a great winger as well. I mean, he's got 83 crossing, but then crossing's been nerfed in this game and heading's harder. So, you know, basically, it's his position, and obviously his league isn't the best. I mean, he's in a Chilean first league. You can do some decent hybrids with him, I suppose. I mean, you can get Sanchez, as you see in this team. You know, and I suppose you could make a few cool teams with him. But other than that, I really would recommend playing this guy up front. So, finally, obviously, we're going to go into his pros and cons. And you can see, it's basically what I've gone over. He's got great finishing, great long shots. He's really fast. I mean, his pace feels a lot more than what it is, to be honest with you. It feels like he's in the 90s. Great dribbling, you know, awesome balance, ball control. He's got good stamina as well. He lasted a lot of games, rarely got injured. You know, he was absolutely awesome. Cons, as you can see here, that hairstyle he's got there. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Other than that, his league and his position, I really would recommend trying him in a left forward, guys. Honestly, just buy this guy. He's only now, I think his price has gone down to nearly 90,000 coins on Xbox One. If you need to build a silver team, this guy, you need him. He's the best silver I've played with. He's probably in the top five best players I've played with on this ultimate team. So that is it, guys. Um, another player review over with. I will be probably reviewing the, uh, well, hopefully, Francesco Totti will get an inform tomorrow. And I'll hopefully buy him tomorrow or in the next couple of days and get an inform on him. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a very, very nice day.